Hello, Frank. Thanks for joining us. Hello. In one of your talks, you spoke about amorphous solid dispersions. Correct. And the title of your talk was The Role of Excipients in Amorphous Solid Dispersions. Can you perhaps dive deeper into the importance of excipient selections, especially for these complex systems? Absolutely. So I think it's really important to understand for a solid amorphous dispersion, this is a really unique and elegant type of system. So in this case, we have a drug that is fully solubilized within a polymer matrix, much like you would dissolve sugar into your cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. right? So in this case, the drug is fully solubilized within the polymer matrix, but as a consequence of that, it is absolutely critical that the interaction of the API itself and the polymer system is absolutely critical. So these materials have to have a very strong affinity for one another, and this is through a number of different forces. Whether these are ionic forces, these are dispersion forces, and a number of other things contribute to this. But in the end, you're really trying to solubilize the drug within the polymer. And what's really nice about this system is, ultimately, if you do it properly, it's thermodynamically stable. So you can then take this polymer matrix, grind it, put it into a real traditional system like a tablet. So you spoke about thermodynamic stability. Correct. Um, what is the key to achieving a stable amorphous solid dispersion? Because we know that these systems are generally not very stable and they tend to revert back to the crystalline formation. Correct, so. correct. So when we look at uh, a solid amorphous dispersion, typically you have a drug that's either very lipophilic or has a very strong crystalline structure. Uh, these things in many cases are like uh, sand that you're trying to dissolve in water. So in this case, you're trying to dissolve it within a polymer. And what is very tricky about that is once you get it there, you have to keep it there. There's a very strong force of thermodynamics that is trying to push mm -hmm. the drug back into an amorphous stage where the drugs are now clustering together. Mm -hmm. And then once in that phase, they start to crystallize again because this right. is the, really the lowest energy form. Mm -hmm. So again, we, we talk about the importance of excipients and adding not just the polymer Polymer, but also additional solubilizers, plasticizers, and other additives that will help increase the affinity of the surfactants with the drug itself. And this really allows for a proper uh, thermodynamically stable system that throughout the course of the, the drug over time will allow it to remain viable 